Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of the Skyrim Let's Play series. Now, last episode, we talked with Delphine, got initiated by the Greybeards into uh, becoming a fully realized Dragonborn, and then we, you know, went and killed some dragons, enchanted our gear a little bit to get a minor bit of upgrade on our swords, and by minor, I mean pretty major actually. I went from... Uh, I think I went from 37 and 32 to 54 and 48, which is a solid upgrade. Where do you want to go? But enough talking. Now we need to go to Solitude to infiltrate the Thalmor Embassy. Now, funny enough, I actually remember as a kid, this used to be one of my least favorite quests in Skyrim for absolutely no reason. Nowadays, I will say it, it's not even a bad quest. Like, it's... It barely takes that much time. It's a lot of infiltration. It's not too bad as long as you are prepared and, you know, you don't go in, like, super unprepared, which uh, I know I just said the same thing twice. I am the definition of redundant. Hey, Farkas. I should be absolutely fine to do this. I have quite a bit of gear. You know, I don't really care about your uncle. I, I'm, I'm not even going to investigate what's happening there. I got a clean mug around here somewhere. All right, hello. Need something? Our mutual friend sent me. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. What? What is that supposed to mean? Deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. All right. I'm ready. Here's what I need. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. All right, let's get all of that. I'm going to be walking around a little bit naked for a while. Uh, I do not need the Magicka potions whatsoever. I don't need any of this either. Don't need this, I don't think. I'll put all these sept septums in here. No, I'll take the septums back. I don't know why my septums are separating like this. It is wild, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'll take some lockpicks because I might need the lockpicks. Um, otherwise, I don't think there's anything else I need. I mean, that should be good, right? I have my weapons, I have my armor, I have potions, and I have lockpicks. That should be everything I need. Hey, the way you walk around at home is your own business when you're at home listen bro i can walk around naked if i want to i'll have you know that i am a chad all right a chad gamer to get into the party without being fingered as a spy i'll take care of the rest i hope i'm not fingered as a spy that would be kind of wild i you know that's not the party Your that i thought we were going to without being fingered as a spy you know that's actually a really cool and very minor Attention to detail. You can hear, if you listen carefully, uh, the footsteps on the rocks. You can hear that they sound like feet instead of uh, armor, which I just think is like a kind of cool, you know, little side thing that they did. They didn't need to have that much attention to detail, but they did. Hello, Delphine. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Yes, Malborn's all set. Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to- Yes, I know I can't go dressed like this. I. D I told you, I'm not ready yet. All right. Party at the Thalmor Embassy Damn. Like that. Look at that. That's some fine clothes right there. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. What do you mean? Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? I'm ready. Keep the rest of my stuff safe for me. Don't worry. It will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Oh, I just got teleported into the carriage. All right. If you insist, Delphine, I, I didn't realize you had the power of teleportation. Ah, uh, a fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. Yes, sir. 
I love how I still am just carrying around the stone of Baron Zaya, and also a few uh, a few separate letters into my thing. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. All right, let's go inside. Hello. Welcome to the Tholmore Embassy. Your invitation, please. Ah, uh, here you go. Thank you, sir. Go right in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger. All right, in we go. Hello. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim, and you are? My name is Ethoriorio Glovius. Pleased to meet you. Ah, uh, yes. I remember your name from the guest. <laughs> kind of a hard one to miss. Tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just After that we've all, run out of the Alto form. wine. How is any smith? Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Many hours yes, in council Madam Ambassador. Lately. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please enjoy yourself. All right. We must enjoy ourselves. Now. Here we are, the Thalmor Embassy. Hey, this guy, Yarl Sidgir. The great war is Erikers here. It's time the uh, overall, you know, an inter Oh, Yarl Elisif is here. And Victoria Vici. I hope nothing bad happens to you in the future. Yarl Idgrid. Oh, Preventus is here. I don't think I've actually ever actively looked at who's here in the party. Let's talk to Malborn real quick. I'd like a drink, please. Here you go, sir. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, sir. Farewell. What Hello, Razalyn. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, uh, here I brought you a drink. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon. Bro, this voice actor had so much fun for this role. Actually, there's something you could do for me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. I need you to cause a scene. Get everyone's attention for a few minutes. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my hand. Who's pushing me? Stop pushing me. Prevent this. I am very curious. Um, what happens to this guy afterwards? Do you know? Do you do you think he's arrested and killed? Yes. What do you need? I'm ready. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. All right, there we go. So now we can run through the Thalmor Embassy. Let me grab my gear. Solid, solid. Equip all of this. I have all of that, and we're all set. So far, so good. I have everything all settled. Let's kill some Thalmor, shall we? Foolish Thalmor warriors. There we go. Let's kill them. Do they have anything of value? I could sell their elven light armor, but I don't really think that there's a need to do so. It's only a few hundred gold, to be honest. Okay, I absolutely despise you. Please stop. Let me go. This is so bad. Legitimately, I don't think there's anything worse on this planet than ice magic. All right, heal up real quick. Get that. Equip some swords. Now we got to go back to the embassy. I've killed quite a few people on this floor. And by that, I mean three. Uh, but that should be everyone on this floor, or if not close to that. Let's, uh, let's, let's loot them, shall we? You know, I'm, I'm down to loot the Thalmor. The Thalmor haven't ever done anything nice for me. Yeah, so let's talk about the Thalmor a bit here, right? The Thalmor are very much the villains of Tamriel, and specifically uh, in Skyrim, they are 
particularly bad because the Thalmor basically are self-protectious pricks, right? They believe in racial supremacy and that the Thalmor are the best race, but also the fact that they specifically invade the Empire and force the outlawing of Talos. Now, I, you know, I'm not like a particular fan of Talos or anything, but I believe that people should be able to worship what they want. And Talos is part of that, you know, and there's no real reason for Talos to be outlawed. Um, and I think that, you know, it's very, it's fair that, um, that the Nords want to be able to worship Talos because, you know, he's their god. Let's, uh, let's get that. I like how far, how did Farkas get here, I wonder? I don't think Farkas was here in the beginning. Did he, like, teleport here? What was I saying? Yeah, so I think it it's just kind of, you know, awful that they uh, outlawed Talos. And I'll get more into this later um, with the Civil War quest line. But obviously the Empire didn't particularly want to outlaw Talos. That wasn't something that they wanted to do. They didn't want to alienate literally all of the Nords, right? They wanted, they, they didn't want to do that. It just, unfortunately, they really had no choice. They were back into a corner. They're extremely weak from just being weakened in general. I mean, it kind of sucks, but. Are you handling everything in there? Ooh, I want to loot this stuff. All right, there we go. Aha, we can take it. No, wait, <laughs> I want the circlet. You're making me angry. <laughs> You're making me angry. All right, let's grab that key. Grab that ring of destruction, please. Grab the more, th more Thalmor robes, and there's also some poisons here. The Thalmor robes are good because they have an enchantment on them that is worth 500 gold, and I do quite like having stuff that's worth 500 gold in my inventory. I can't help myself. Another Thalmor dead. Let's see, search chest. Have some scrolls. What's happening in here? What'd they do to you? Sorry, I'll, I'll help you in a second. All right, here we go. Thalmor Dossier uh, Esbern. Status, fugitive, capture only. Highest priority, a mystery level, approval. Description, male Nord, late 70s. Damn, he's old. Background, Esbern was one of the Blade's lore masters prior to the first war against the Empire. He was not a field agent, but is believed to have been behind most of the damaging operations carried out by the Blades during the pre-war years, including... The Falinesti incident and the breach of the Blue River prison. His file has remained dormant for many years, an inexcusable error on the part of my predecessor, who has been recalled to Eleanor for punishment and re-education, which is probably death, in the erroneous belief that he was unlikely to pose a threat due to his advanced age and lack of field experience. A salutary reminder to all operational levels that no blade agent should be considered low priority for any reason. All are to be found and justice exacted upon them. Operational notes are as we are still in the dark to the cause and meaning of the return of the dragons, so they have nothing to do with dragons. I have made capturing Esbern our top priority, as he is known to be one of the experts in the dragon lore of the blades. Regrettably, we have yet to match the expertise on the subject of dragons, which was derived from their Akaviri origins and is still far superior to our own. Now, there's some more there, but the basic gist of it is that he is in the rat way in Riften. Uh, let's see real quick. Listen yeah, up, up there. Spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. Uh, no candy. Uh, can I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't think I can go through here. Uh-oh. Malborn, no. Malborn. Listen, Malborn. You don't have to do this. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it, Malborn. Uh, let's grab that trapdoor key real quick. Uh, they also have one, but I don't need two. Sheathe my swords. And Malborn's okay. I'm glad that I managed to save him. Hey, Farkas. Uh, let's open this door. No, let's, sorry, this door. Hello. I told you. I don't know anything else about it. Uh, I'm not here to torture you. What? Who? What? 
What do you want then? Uh, no time to explain. Let's get out of here. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. Sounds good. Uh, I'll follow you. <sighs> Whatever you want. But let's go, now. Alright. Let him down. Can't let someone be captured by the Thalmor like that. And open the reeking cave. Got some plates and stuff. And I hear some ominous noises coming from here. I hope there's nothing bad in here. Uh-oh, that's a troll. Let's uh, save right here. Die. Alright. Kill that troll. Uh, huh? Kill that troll pretty handily. Sorry, I'm uh, cannot speak. Got a satchel here. Before the ages of man, illusion magic increased, and a unusual gem. That's still in a Baron's Eye number two. Now, as for mandatory questline ones, I still have to get the Dark Brotherhood one. I still have to get. What else do I have to get? Is that the only one? Oh, and there's the one in College of Winterhold. Otherwise, that's it. Hey, Melbourne. Now the Falmore will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. I think it was worth it. Hello, ATN. You didn't have to help me, so thanks. No problem, man. All right, well, what a little ragtag bunch we are. We got uh, Etienne here, we got Malborn, got Farkas, and we're free from the Thalmor. Now, real quick, I'm actually going to go mark the Shrine to Meridia on my map because I want to do that. I will have to come back here at some point for Dawnbreaker, and why not mark it now? Now, let's talk a little bit. The, the Thalmor, I kind of talked about them, but the Blades. I wanted to talk about this last episode. I think Delphine does a really, really poor job of making you want to like the Blades. Hello, random noble. I wonder why you're here. Probably for the wedding of Victoria Vici. Delphine makes it a really poor case. And it's just, it's just wild to me because she should theoretically... Oh, hey, there's a word wall here. I didn't even know that it was here. I got that. Air, Elemental Fury. Uh, Delphine is extremely unlikable, right? She starts off... New supplicant approaches. Oh. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. But first, you must restore to me my beacon. I shall guide you unto it, find it, and return here, and great shall be your reward. Alright, I'm down. I wonder, where does this take me? What dungeon is this taking me to? Movar's Lair! Oh, I don't want to go to Movar's Lair? That's a, that's a quest I don't want to do yet. Alright. I actually didn't know that that would happen, to be completely honest. I thought that you needed to find Meridia's Beacon before she talked to you, but apparently you can get the quest earlier and then uh, find the beacon itself. But let's go back to Delphine. Now, as I was saying, I keep getting interrupted by, uh, la you know, before I was getting interrupted by just general things, now I'm being interrupted by gods and Daedra and stuff. Kind of wild. Heard they're reforming the Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. In the old fort, the rift true, 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 true. Delphine is extremely unlikable. She, she in the beginning, does a very good job mm -hmm. of putting you off to her. Like, you know, she's like, especially yeah, right. one dialogue line that bothers me a lot is you can ask, why should I trust you? And she's like, you were a fool to come here if you didn't trust me to begin with. And it's like, no, I came here to get the horn. Like... <laughs> Uh, there's no, there's nothing foolish about wanting to know, you know, why should I trust you? Let's uh, pick this up. Hey, Delphine. Get out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Uh, the Thalmor know absolutely nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? And then she, she says stuff like that, like, yes, I'm sure, obviously. Esbert? He's like, alive? It, that that dialogue that line right there. Uh, why would you send me if you're just not going to believe me anyway? Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. 
What would the Thalmor want with Esbern? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Yes. Esbern was one of the Blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Mm. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. All right, and there we go. Completed diplomatic immunity. Now we have a cornered rat. Now, next episode, I am probably going to uh, take a temporary break and go get Dawnbreaker because I do think getting Dawnbreaker this early will be good for me. Uh, now we need to go talk to Brynjolf in Riften, which I cannot do yet. But that seems like a pretty solid place to end the episode, if I do say so myself. Bro, I just don't care. Yeah, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like at the sub button. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.